Good morning guys, it's Tina and welcome back to the Queendom. All right, so I'm gonna tell you the date today is Saturday, November the 3rd and I am getting ready to get my day started because I actually have to work on today at um, the second job. But I said to you guys a couple of weeks ago that I wanted to do uh, um, at least a video on how to increase your breast milk supply and I told you guys that I needed to go grocery shopping before I um, shot that video. So since then I've gone grocery shopping so I'm just going to get it started. It's going to be a quick video because it's, yeah, it's not a lot of stuff but it's enough stuff. So what I start with is my pan, pan, pot, whatever you want to call it, and some rolled oats. Today I'm doing rolled oats. Those are quick oats um, from Aldi. Or I do still cut oats Aldi as well. Um, I usually buy the Aldi brand because brand, that's where I purchase um, many of my groceries. But I, I guess you can, um, you can get any brand of rolled oats or still cut oats. And it still does the same thing. I will say that the still cut oats, and I said this before that I've been going to do a vlog on that. I will say that the still cut oats take a lot longer to cook than the, um, the rolled oats. To be honest with you guys, I don't measure anything out because I've been doing this for such a long time. I just put um, maybe about half a pot of water in the pan. I'll show you all real quick. Oh, half a pot of water once the water gets boiling once the water gets boiling um i do hot water since of course it's going to be quicker but once the water gets boiling then i add my oats again i don't measure that either but based off of the manufacturer's suggestions um there are cooking directions on the back of most packages and it's based on um, serving size, it tells you the amount of water, oats, and then salt if that's something that you use. I will say for myself, um, this is a healthier option than the packets of oatmeal. I love it, and for people who might have high blood pressure, like a lot of us brown folk do, I don't, thank God. Um, it's very good for, um, it's very good with helping to lower your cholesterol and your blood pressure. I'm not a doctor, but um, that's something that I do know for sure. I feel dry. I feel like I look dry. Who still does that? <laughs> um, yeah, it is good for lowering your blood pressure. It's, it's something that you probably have to, I'll assume you have to eat constantly. Like every morning for breakfast or something like that in order for it to help with that blood pressure issue. Um, I will say that I stay full longer when I eat the oatmeal versus more salty or sugary, sugary options that I might do for breakfast. Which my go-to breakfast is oatmeal or um, my Asiago bagel that I think I showed you guys before with the Nutella. At least on Instagram. If you're not following me on, on Instagram, make sure you follow me. It's at the Queen Vlogs. And, um, I put in my oatmeal, whatever I want to put in it. I usually do brown sugar. I think we have dark, dark brown sugar here right now. I usually do brown sugar and, um, some raisins. It's just a, you know, sun made. It's a box of raisins. And again, I don't measure that out. This is dark brown sugar. This is from Aldi as well. So that's what I do. I make the oatmeal, put my um, brown sugar in it, and my raisins and bay leaves. Um, I put a little milk in it as well, lactose-free milk, since I have issues with lact well, the milk protein. Um, and bay leaves, I do. Um, I don't do brown sugar most times. What I usually do is um, open up a can of pineapples that are in pineapple juice. I don't think I have a can right now. That are in, oh yes I do. Can of pineapples that are in 100% juice. This is from Aldi as well. You can see. Sweet Harvest brand. Pineapple chunks. It ain't gonna do what I want it to do. There we go. 
and 100 percent juice so i opened up a can of this put a little juice in there and um cut up you know slice the pineapple chunk like in half and then she loves it like her oatmeal like that and something else that i do drink a lot a lot a lot a lot a lot of water for myself i have a 28 i think this is 28 ounces i have a 28 ounce water bottle it's actually not mine it's curtis's for his fishing stuff and i stole it he did not put any kind of fishing stuff in this so i won't be freaked out he brought it from walmart a couple of weeks ago and i saw it and i made it mine so yeah i drink about maybe about i try to do about at the least i definitely do three but i try to do like four or five because i am breastfeeding so definitely the rolled oats like i said and or the steel cut oats um sweeten it to your liking and this is like my go-to because i am a big well, i can't i'm not gonna say i'm a big snacker but i like snacks and i like to eat more conscious snacks i try try to do nuts and stuff like that i don't have any nuts i don't know that that helps to increase your breast milk supply but i try to do nuts as a snack and my go-to snack is and i think i mentioned this before is belvita that breakfast um bars i absolutely love this bread this one right here the cranberry orange they have other ones and most recently they have belvita bites belvita already has um i think it has oats in it yeah it has it says ingredients. The first ingredient is whole grain blend or rolled oats. So those are very good. Let me open a package up so you guys can see it. So you can already see I took these down. This is how the package is. It says four hours. Four hours of nutritious steady energy, 230 calories per pack, which is a lot. 230 calories is a lot. Essentially, that's like enough for breakfast. I'm going to try to open it with this one hand I got here. And it comes with, it's in each individual package because the box comes with five one ounce packets. So in the, in, in the individual one ounce packets are... for for um, breakfast biscuits and I'll show you one you can see the if you can see you can see like the pieces of cranberry and orange of course the camera's not focusing right now but there it is there we go and I think that this helps with your breast milk supply I'm gonna have to put this in my own lunch bag to eat later I think that it helps with your breast milk supply because it um it has oatmeal in it, it has rolled oats in it. And Aldi actually carries a brand of the Belvita breakfast biscuits as well. And I had those too, so you guys can tell that I they're my go-to. They're my go-to. I actually give them to Bailey a snack sometimes, but she um she doesn't particularly care for them. And I, I hate when I give them to her and then she likes waste waste them or like breaks them up or doesn't eat the whole thing. I'm always like Ugh. She's wasting my stuff. So, um, try to give her other snacks other than those. So, this is the Aldi's brand. Oh, and the Belvita um, breakfast biscuits come in a lot of different flavors. My daughter loves blueberry. I absolutely love the cranberry orange. And they also come in, um, oh gosh, like a vanilla. You hear Brent Bailey? A vanilla. It's, it's a whole bunch of other ones. If you check your local grocer, um, you'll, you'll, you'll see that it's many different options in terms of flavors. This girl's tripping. So, like I was saying, this is the oldie brand of the, um, of the Belvita biscuits. Benton's brown sugar and cinnamon. It's the same thing. This comes with, I think it's five. Yeah, same amount of calories. You get 20 grams of whole grains per serving. It says provides energy that helps you to enjoy your day. This first ingredient enrich flour, so wheat flour, niacin, 
reduce iron, thiamine, and so on and so on. Um, but this is literally like um, same thing. See, it says uh, it says five packets, five packets of four biscuits. So it's the equivalent. So you get five packs as as you do with the Belvita um, box. Um, and you still get four, um, breakfast biscuits in the pack. Yeah, and I showed you guys the bites. I ha actually haven't had the bites yet. My daughter tried the bites. I guess it's, it's the same thing, but just smaller, more like a snack type, I guess. Okay, Bailey, come on now. Come on now. That, now this girl's in the trash. Say good morning, Bailey. Hey, get out of there. Say good morning. Good morning. Say good morning. Say welcome to the queendom. You gotta go potty? Well, go get on the potty then. Yeah, we're, we're trying, this, trying this potty training thing. It's going okay. She'll go. She'll at least pee. A couple times a week, I'll say, out of seven days. Get on the potty. Get on potty potty. Mom life. I'll say out of um, seven days. I try to put her on every morning. And then if we're home during lunchtime, I put her on and she peed. She peed yesterday. She's gone a couple of times. I'll say maybe twice this week that I put her on. It seems like sometimes she'll hold it. So I just have to sit her on there a little longer. If we're home, of course. Because I'm not going to be carrying no potty all around us. That's not me. But here's this one. Say hey. Hey. And then there's that other one. Little Brenola, Brenola. Little Brenola, Brenola. So yeah, the water's still taking its time. So um, yeah, I'll show you guys how it looks when I'm done. I'll show you guys how it looks when I'm done. One piece. Yeah. Yeah. What do you Yes. It went off already? Kaya! Come here. Alright, so the oatmeal is done. Bailey's actually almost done. So, show y'all the milk that I use. Use lactate. Or I use um, the giant brand, I don't have it now, the giant brand of lactose free 1% milk. So, here is my oatmeal with the brown, the dark brown sugar. And I'm just gonna put some raisins just like I showed you initially. So I will say that the dark brown sugar is not as sweet as the light brown sugar. With the dark brown sugar, I think I put Maybe about three teaspoons in uh, my bowl. Then with the milk, I just pour just a little bit of the lactate in there. Then I usually put maybe about a half of a handful of raisin. And then there you go. Just like I said, you can start your day with the oatmeal, um, the Velveeta biscuits, a snack. And I usually have those. Like three times a day, just at different intervals. I'm sorry for all the noise. Just at different intervals, not at like any kind of particular order. So, those are my thoughts on increasing your breast, breast milk supply. What I will say is, um, more than anything, be patient with your body. Your body knows what to do. And even if your body doesn't do what you want it to do to try to make um a lot of breast milk don't be so hard on yourself as moms just in our society american culture 
we're so hard on ourselves and on other moms when we feel like they aren't measuring up to whatever our idea of a good mom is, whatever the heck that means. Don't be so hard on yourself. If your child has to take formula because your breasts aren't acting right like they want to, it's uncomfortable or weird for you to breastfeed. Um, you don't make enough milk. Like, don't kill yourself trying to breastfeed or anything else for that matter that involves being a mom. You know, it should come, I'm not gonna say it should come naturally because, mom life. I'm not gonna say it should come naturally because it's a struggle for some moms. It's a struggle um, connecting and pumping or breastfeeding. That's the rest of the oatmeal. But um, just be patient with yourself. Be patient with your body. It knows what to do. And even if it, yeah, if it don't, doesn't do what you want it to do, it doesn't mean you're not a great mom. It doesn't mean that you can't take care of your child appropriately. It doesn't mean any of those things. It just means that your body has a mind of its own and that's just what it is. This is why I can't vlog every day. She's done her breakfast. <laughs> so now she's banging. I'm going to show y'all her real quick because you know this is real life. So I don't have bibs for Bailey. I have bibs for Bren. So I do like a um, dish towel that we dry dishes with. Sort of like this. And uh, tuck it in her shirt. <laughs> That's the spoon now. Tuck it in her shirt so that... Um, the oatmeal won't get on everything. But as I was saying, just don't be too hard on yourselves, moms, you know. I have and had an oversupply of breast milk. It's been easier for me the fourth go around. I will say the oldest two, I uh, made it a point to breastfeed them for at least five months. And I did about five months for the both of them. But with the younger kids, I told myself that I wanted to go a year. Because I know how important it is. It's not to say that... Um, six months is better than a year or anything like that it's all about what you put in your mind and what you want to accept you know don't kill yourself don't push yourself beyond what's comfortable for you you know don't beat up on yourself and you know i'm not a good don't get it it's enough of that on the in the world you turn the tv on and you hear people like 